Dan Lewis, you're the uh, Infrastructure Advisor for the Institute of Directors. Uh, thanks for joining us here at uh, Tomorrow's Rail. Um, you make some really interesting points in your presentation earlier uh, about, I suppose, your members' views on High Speed 2 as a scheme. Um, yeah, well, not necessarily supportive. No, they weren't. Uh, and why is this? It's, mm. it's really about an opportunity cost. What they overwhelmingly said was mm. that they thought the money could be spent elsewhere, better spent elsewhere, on roads and other sorts of train connections. Mm -hmm. because I suppose the, 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 the interesting thing is that you know, we hear generally that business uh, is really supportive of better connections between cities, getting, uh, reducing time, increasing capacity. Well, business is a very wide spectrum. Yeah. Uh, we represent small and medium-sized enterprises. Mm -hmm. um, I think that really what really works far, far better is if you're trying to build transport connections, mm -hmm. uh, then what you should really be trying to do is build them within cities because right. you'll always move more people more of the time, more quickly, mm -hmm. and increase economic opportunities more, uh, more cheaply doing it that way mm -hmm. rather than between right. cities. So what, what this is really about is what do you think has more of a future when mm -hmm. you have a limited budget? Uh, is it intercity agglomeration? or is it metropolitan right. agglomeration? So ideas like the Northern Powerhouse, trying to really uh, increase the, 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 the capacity of, 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 of transport systems within that northern area, is great. Yes. Uh, Crossrail. Yeah, uh, Crossrail cross to two. some extent, Crossrail 2. Uh, I think the standout success has to be the London Overground Line. Right. Uh, and, and you know, why is that? Okay, the, the infrastructure is already there, mm -hmm. but you're moving a lot of people. I mean, the demand for it far mm -hmm. exceeded uh, right. what they thought it would. Mm -hmm. You know. That is, that is a very welcome sort of return yeah, in, yeah. In, in any sort of train project. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, also they increased the frequency of trains, so they became turn up and go services. Yeah. So uh, we now see Peter Hendy, uh, who looked after London's uh, overground and gave us London overground in, in the capital, moving to network rail. Yeah. Uh, what's your advice to Peter? Uh, well, um, <clears throat> I think the starting point with network rail is uh, if you leave it as it's going, Mm -hmm. uh, the net debt is going to mushroom from about 39 billion now to 50 billion by the end of this decade. Mm -hmm. By the end of the next decade, according to the Office of Rail Regulation, interest rate repayments will take up a third of the budget. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Greece on rails. Right. Uh, we cannot have this completely unsustainable tax fueled debt funded expansion of the railways. This mm -hmm. has got to stop. So, how are you going to deal with that? Uh, I would suggest that. Ultimately, you're going to have to break up network rail, mm -hmm. uh, but you have to go further. I would like to see a reconnection between the, the train operating companies and the tracks they're operating. Right. Do you think that's a sustainable solution? There, there's some suggestion that um, uh, the past experience is that companies go bust. Uh, there isn't sufficient revenue to actually uh, do what you need to do with a, with a, with a major network like uh, the railways. Well, what we do, what we have ready here is a choice. We've experimented with what you might call horizontal fragmentation, mm -hmm. um, but the alternative is, is vertically integrated monopolies, right. regional monopolies. Um, we've been there before. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, it worked quite well. Um, I would like to go there again. Right. Starting you know, with London, presumably expanding the overground going to Manchester, creating yes. the, the transport for the north? Yes, and you know, the other areas, uh, I, you know, I, I don't really have that much confidence in some of the cost-benefit analysis that Network mm -hmm. Rail's been doing. So I think it's disappointing. They weren't ready to fund uh, faster trains more quickly to Stansted. Yeah. Um, so I talked about connecting up uh, high population within high population areas, but you know, the standout thing that does work is if you connect mm -hmm. uh, an airport and do it quickly, uh, then you suddenly get a lot more people yeah. going through that. Interesting. The, the, the view of small businesses is very important. Thanks for raising, raising the issue and uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks very much.